to this parade And I know I'm gonna keep you 100 So grateful for the life I live Grateful for the wishes I see I'm So grateful for the love I'm receiving Love I need only to only for my grief No need to stress No, no, no need to stress Oh, no, no Fantastic performance, fantastic performance. Oh, they were awesome. they were you were so amazing. Good. You were fantastic. Thank you. Great job. Good vibes out there, good energy. So we just finished watching a phenomenal performance by Miss Deborah Cox, one of the most talented artists in the music industry for more than two decades. Yeah. And um, you're here in Ghana for the first time. How does it feel? It feels so good. Um, you know, it, it feels like home. The warmth, and the welcome, the friendly, you know, vibe and energy and spirit of everybody. It's just been so beautiful. It really, you can't put it into words. You just have to come here and feel the energy and feel it. You know, it's like, because um, this is, it's a vibe and an energy, you know? Beautiful. Now, your uh, Guyanese background, and that is the country that oftentimes living in Canada, when I say I'm from Ghana, they say, oh, Guyana? Guyana? I'm like, no, it's Ghana, <laughs> not Guyana. There's two different countries. One's in the Caribbean, one's right. in, in West Africa. Mm -hmm. um, so, I don't know if you've ever experienced that before. Have you? I have, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not Guyana. No, it's two different places. Yes, <laughs> yes. But being a uh, Caribbean, is there anything that you find that there's similarities with Caribbean culture, with West African culture? So I guess the slang, you know, are, this, are the same. Um, the reaction to certain things, the reaction to music, you know, we're very um, animated. Animated. I just said that. Very <laughs> animated. I love it, and it just reminds me of, of my family. And I, and to be here and to see where it all comes from is is amazing. Yeah. Now. Um, you have a new song that's coming out, a new album that's coming out. I, I know you did some of your greatest hits today, but yeah. a lot of people are looking forward to what's in store. Can you tell us a bit about that? Well, the new album um, is in the works. I still have about four or five more songs to finish. The new single is called Easy Way. It's finished. And it really explores um, the complexities of these two people that are in love with very um, strange place and I think sometimes when you're in love you know you can either you don't know if you should stay or if you should leave or what you should do so the song really talks about that about that and I think the whole album will explore just love black love love is love love with love you know um, do you want to be in love do you want to be in love with yourself <laughs> you know it's we're st all still trying to figure it out so um, that is the basis and the foundation of this new record now your career has been so long. I know you started you were acting when you were 12, mm -hmm. and then you transitioned to music and Broadway performing. Yeah. What advice do you have for women who may be looking up to you as to how to have a career with longevity? Because it's easy to be a, a hit today and gone tomorrow. What did you do? What would you tell a young person to do to keep their career going in this industry? Um, I would tell people to just explore every opportunity. Use social media. Show you know what. You know what your true gifts, what you can do, and then explore all different sides of the arts, performing arts, whether it's dance, whether it's acting. Um, you know, there's many places and positions that you can be in in the industry. You don't always have to be front and center. There's other things that you can do, um, and learn to be happy and passionate about what you're doing because you're not always going to make money. <laughs> That's the first thing. Starting out, you probably won't make a lot. You know, but um, Passion will keep you moving forward and will keep you, you know, keep you going on. What is your favorite part of this whole journey of yours in, in entertainment, media, music? I think my favorite part is meeting the people and hearing the stories behind, you know, the inspiration that they got from hearing the songs. You know, I mean. So many different kinds of stories about meeting their partner, not meeting their partner, getting out of a relationship. You know, just many different things. And I think you know, I, I it's it's that's what's inspiring. That's what keeps me going. That's what keeps me, you know, motivated to do music. 
one last question. Um, this is a personal question. For people who work in this industry, sometimes we end up working with people that were, were in relationships with, you know, you have the, the negative, the positive. How do you manage to keep your marriage strong while having the partnership, the business partnership? Because a lot of times people say, I don't want to work with my husband. I don't want to work with my wife. But you're working with each other for a long time. So how do you maintain that? Well, we wear a lot of different hats. You know, sometimes, you know, it's a manager artist, you know, where I have to, you know, I take advice. Um, he's a very much a visionary and a person that, um, you know, likes to plan things. And then there are moments where we have to switch hats and become, you know, different types of people. I think that's the thing that you have to keep in mind is you're a team and we take our egos out of it and try to just make it work for the best of, you know, the project or whatever we're doing. Um, it's tough though, I mean, I think it's about communication, really making sure that, you know, we hear each other and, um, and that we are very open-minded to whatever we're feeling. Um, that's the key, I mean, is really communicating. Yeah. Now I said that was the last question, but there is one. No, there's one important, important question that I right. must say because there's a lot of people like yourselves who are in Ghana, coming to Ghana over the course of this year. Right. This year is deemed the year of return yes. by the president, welcoming people from the diaspora to come back to Ghana, to come to Africa, come to the motherland. What do you think about that initiative? Do you think it's something that's benefiting people overall in the diaspora in Ghana? What are your thoughts? I mean, in the diaspora, I think it's so important and so meaningful and finally coming to you know, fruition. And it's, it's, time that it's, uh, it's time for it to be recognized because we need to know our history. Um, as black people all over you know, the world, we need to know where we come from, we need to know our history, we need to know the foundation of our, of our, um, you know, of everything, where everything is stemmed from and come from. And I think it's important that it's recognized. You know, so I'm just really honored and thrilled to be here to experience it the year of. You know, yes. Oh, it's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so you. much.